Hey guys, I thought I would try and make a, like a, a, a pre-sugar skull thing for the party, because I've never done a sugar skull on my face by myself before, and um, I was going to be a sugar skull ballerina for the party this Saturday, and I think it'd be a really good idea to kind of like try it out and see what I can do. I have a template like picture from Pinterest that I'm kind of focusing on. I'm not going to do all the crazy details that she has done because I'm still really new at this, but I'm going to try and get some like the base of it and then um, kind of go from there. I don't really have any white per se, but I do have this really like um, ivory esque foundation and then this is mainly meant for um, your eyeshadow like it's an eyeshadow base but it's this really bright white and I thought maybe if I mix the two I can come up with something cool so we'll find out um, in case I forget um, I don't own any of the music that's playing in the background I don't even know if you guys can hear it but I'm sure YouTube will find a way to listen and they'll be like that's not right you don't own that. Like, I know I don't own it. I just like listening to it. And I want it in my, want it in my video. Get over it. Mm, it's kind of getting whiter. I still want to get, like, an actual whitening, like, foundation type thing that you get at the store. I'm trying to figure out what to use. I want something more professional. I don't really want to use like the Halloween costume stuff that you get at like, you know, Target or Walmart or whatever. Um, cause it's usually like the cheapest of the cheap stuff. And, um, I mean, no offense to that kind of makeup. I mean, if you can work with it, go for it. But I don't want it to look like sticky. I don't want it to look like wet. I want it to look like a nice base powder. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that, but I will figure out a way. Okay, mixed with the foundation, it's kind of getting along. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Because it's so, I mean, you guys can't even see my head. I can't, like, blacken myself out. I can, like, yeah, it's a little bit whiter. Can you see? I almost need like a shade. Maybe if I, well, I don't know. Every time I mess with the lighting, it doesn't really help that much. I'm just like whitened out. Who knows? Okay, so now that I've gotten my base on, um, I used this um, NYX NYX eyeshadow base. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but if this is all you have, it's not bad. It actually covers pretty well. I mixed it with like an ivory foundation um, that was really liquidy to kind of um, just spread it around and kind of um, smoothen the texture because it's a little chunky. And then um, I was going to take some white eyeshadow. I don't have any like white powder. At least I don't think I do. Um, I don't know. All my makeup, <laughs> a lot of it's like gifts from friends. I don't really buy myself makeup that much. Um, but I'm thinking I might go over first with like just regular powder. Nothing. Can you see that? Nothing fancy. Just some really, really ivory powder. Where's my big brush? Ah. So just kind of. I'm just going to try and give it a little more of like a softness, a little less greasy. Um, if this looks cool, I'll probably wear it all day and scare the kids on the school bus. <laughs> I love dressing up for Halloween or like wearing something weird and then going to the school bus to get Nora. And then all the kids are like, your mom's crazy. I'm like, it's so freaking true. <laughs> I mean, it's boring just doing the same thing every day, right? Sometimes I go with like little baby winged eyes, and then other days I just like 
I go mad crazy with it and make them like huge. Like, well, last night I had a wing and eye on because I was going to a like a birthday thing, and <laughs> they ended up being a lot bigger than I was wanting because I just like I don't know what it is about my left eye. I just cannot figure that one out. I can do this one. I can because I'm using my left hand because I'm left-handed, and I just like I'm, it's so easy to do like a little curvy swoop on this side, but on this side, it, like. It always turns into like a fang or a horn, like devil's horn. Never looks the way I wanted to. But what ebbs? Um, all right, I do have some white eyeshadow. This is a really awesome. I think it's pronounced Shaney Cosmetics makeup palette that I had gotten from oh, I think one of my sisters. Yeah, and then I have an '88 makeup palette that I haven't even like messed with yet because. This usually is pretty, like, consistent with colors that I use, but every once in a while there'll be, like, a really cool off color that, because it, since there's 88 of them, there's, like, so many different shades. This is a little less shades, but, I mean, it's still awesome, and I use it all the time. This is kind of my go-to, like, Halloween or costume-related makeup thing. <gasps> Usachi! I literally, like, keep this next to the computer and just play with it. I'm a big goob. And, like, every once in a while, like, when me and Andrew are just, like, hanging out, watching TV or something, I just, like, grab her and go, Usaji! Like, in his face. If you don't know what Usaji, it's uh, Sailor Moon's name in Japanese, like, the original name. It's, I think it's, like, Usaji-chan, because they say, like, Mr. and Miss with a lot of stuff. But, um, yeah, so if I'm saying Usaji, it's, like, Sailor Moon. I'm not sure what they call her, because sometimes they call her Bunny, because that's, her nickname, Bunny, because I don't think her name is not Serena in Japanese. That wouldn't make any sense. Um, but I don't know. Maybe Usagi is like their version of a Serena. Or I don't know if it's supposed to be Serena or Bunny, because Bunny is her nickname. But... I'm sure I could look it up, but I don't know. People are like, well, you're not a true fan if you don't know that crap. Uh, I've been watching Sailor Moon since I was fucking four, so don't give me that shit. I don't, you don't have to know every single thing to be a big fan of something. Like, I hate that. Like, actually, the other day, I posted on my Von Gayhead page this, um, fake geek girls crap. There was this girl who, I, I had never heard of this comic, so I initially thought she was a steampunk female joker, which, I mean, that sounded fucking awesome, and she looked really great. And then I found out it's actually a comic book character called... D Dwella or something. It's on my Von Gehe page. Check it out on Facebook. But yeah, I mean, she looks amazing. And I was like, who gives a shit? Even if it was a gender swap steampunk joker, like, she looks awesome. Like, why would you shit all over that? Like, I don't understand why people would get so anal about it. It's, it's so stupid. Like, there's no such thing as a fake geek. I mean, unless they, like, I guess they, like, literally just, like, walked up and were like, yeah, I know everything, and didn't know anything. I mean, that would be kind of annoying, I guess, to a, a fan. But, I don't know, I just don't understand why people feel like they have claim over something. I'm like, wouldn't you want to, like, invite people and say, hey, welcome to my world of insanity and, geek and geekdom and fandom. Like, enjoy this with me. As opposed to, no, you're not allowed to be in here because you're not a real geek. I mean, we all start out, you know, noobs. Like, I don't understand why people get so bent out of shape about that. I'm like, let them join. Let them be a part of the magic. Isn't that what we all want? Don't you want, I mean, especially when guys try to sh uh, fan shame girls. That, I don't understand what's wrong with these dudes. I'm like... You have no idea. You could possibly find, like, the woman of your dreams and, like, your future wife, but you just shunned her. So now she doesn't even want to, like, go to Comic-Cons anymore because you're a dick. Like, don't be that guy. Like, why would you want to? My it's God. just stupid. Stupid! So, how she did it in this picture, um, what she is also doing in, like, a cool blue, she did, like, the corners... Right here. And you just blend it in, it looks like. 
This is my first time doing this, so, I mean, it might turn out horribly. I'm not really sure. I wish I could use the camera to do this, but it just wipes me out so much and I can't see. Because, you know, with sugar skulls, you can really do whatever you want. It doesn't have to look a certain way. You don't have to follow the norms. In fact, I literally just found... Um, a sugar skull skeleton uh, aerial mermaid um, like picture and I was like dude I am so getting that as a tattoo it was probably the coolest thing I'd ever seen sugar skull wise and I mean there's a lot of cool sugar skull stuff I know I knew people got sugar skull tattoos um, but I'd never seen like something like that before I put that also on my Bonga head page, and, um, yeah, I was going to get a hammerhead shark this next time, but I don't know, I really want to get the mermaid one now. Yeah, right there, kid? Breaking stuff? Also, I think the blue kind of looks cool with my red hair. Not exactly how she did it. I went a little crazy because I was trying to make it even and that didn't work. Try to keep in mind that it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, sometimes the coolest stuff, you know, especially with like makeup and art in any form, the coolest thing is just winging it and you come up with some really interesting stuff. I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing as I'm doing it, but having a hard time seeing and I'm mixing it in my roots a little bit so it almost looks like it's a part of me as opposed to just slapped on now my plan was to just do black and white for the party so I might still do that but I thought while I'm trying it out I'll try it with some color and see how that looks you know I might decide to do it with color and just really make, because like my whole outfit's going to be just black. I want to try and blacken the rest of me out so that my face was like the big, the money maker, so to speak. And uh, I think that'll look pretty cool. So my forehead doesn't look anything pretty much like the girl had in the picture because I kind of messed up and I was trying to make it even, like both sides even, but it wasn't working. I just kept messing up. And so I just decided I'm just going to make like the whole top of half of my face kind of like bluish, almost like kind of like a, some type of fish or like mermaid or something, which is pretty cool too. So, I mean, trial and error. So there's that. Have you guys heard of the two cellos, these two dudes that play cello, they're awesome. They're just really cool. And you're a demon. What are you doing there, kid? Hey, Bowser. You're Bowser? You smell like pizza. This is my shirt. And also, when I'm done using this aqua e blue, I'm going to go around and do like a darker blue around just to kind of like mix it up. And then I'll do the black because I think that would be cool. I like mixing things around. I'm going to go to the bus stop like this. It's going to be awesome. I was going to exercise today, but I decided I wanted to do this more. <laughs> so, like, I'll exercise tomorrow. I've been trying to exercise more. I was doing really good there uh, a while ago, and then I kind of stopped because life got in the way, and I got lazy, and then I was going to pick it up again. And you don't mess with that. Such is life. Yeah. 
I can't wait for my hair to grow out. I'm hoping I can stand to let it grow out. It's the in-between stage between being really short and really long that I can't stand. I hate the half in-between shit. But I'm hoping I can deal with it so that I can have mermaid hair because I'm going to keep it this color for, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll like this color for at least a year before I get bored with it again. And then um, I just really want to have long hair, but I'm still going to keep the side shaved and I think that'll help me um, with it. So I won't, I won't get so bored because I have to do something with my, my hair. I just get so bored with it and it's like the only thing I can really control and like do what I want with. So I always mess with my hair. I'm always constantly dyeing it and changing up and cutting it. <laughs> I'm not very consistent when it comes to my hair, but I really want to grow it out because I know how to do the fishbone braid and regular braid and my daughter never lets me do that crap on her, so I'm like, I want to grow it up and do it, my, do it myself. I'm going to be really cool. And I think it looks so pretty. I would love to just, like, do a cute fishbone braid and just walk out the house and be done, you know? Um, I used to have super long hair, like, to the small of my back in high school. And pretty much, I had short hair in, like, elementary school days. But middle school, I started growing it out really long. And then high school, it was, like, just super long. And everyone loved it, and it was so pretty. And, like, my mom would never let me dye it or cut it because she really loved it so much, which I get. Um, but I think I just got so bored with it. So when I finally, like, I got my senior year, and I first I went, like, strawberry blonde just to kind of see how I felt about dyeing. And then I went straight to black. I just, got, I just went really crazy. And, um... I've just been going crazy with it ever since, and it's just been getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. I mean, eventually, I think I'm going to actually shave my head. I know I will at least once, because it's just me. It's just kind of what I do. Okay, so I blued my eyeballs, um, and then I'm going to do this kind of... So far, I've, I mainly use this pretty aqua color. And now I'm going for this deep blue to kind of um, just add texture. And then I'm going to use the liquid liner. And I don't know, I might have to run to the bathroom and do that. Because I can't really see with this camera. But I like adding different shades. And with this cool little brush, I can kind of add this like powdery look. It almost looks like scales or something. I look more like a fish person than... <laughs> sugar skull but maybe hopefully when it's all said and done it'll be cool looking and I'll take a picture of it too so you guys can really see the contrast because I don't know what is up with this camera I just can't figure out the lighting in here I guess it's better that I have bright lighting as opposed to like no lighting at all. I hear that's one of the hardest things about filming and stuff. It's just the lighting itself because I just can't get it right. I'd love to go to like film school and learn all about that stuff and do like film projects. It'd be really fun. I'm hoping maybe next Christmas I can get like an actual video camera that's mainly meant for videoing, like a really nice one. Um, but I also really want like a Sailor Moon shirt because I don't know why I don't own one. I don't own one. What's wrong with that? There's something wrong with this picture. Um, and then, but I, I also want like Sugar Skull stuff because I'm really into that right now. I think I've always liked Sugar Skull, um, but once I started looking it up on Pinterest and seeing like a lot of cool stuff about it, uh, I'm just, I'm really in love with it now. Do this. Okay, I'm going to try and show you guys while I'm doing it. I love doing face paint because I feel like, 
I don't know. It's I don't like wearing masks because you always get sweaty and you get gross. But I love doing face paint because I feel like it's another art form. It's like painting. And I love painting. I used to paint all the time. It's hard to buy canvas nowadays, though. Not to mention crazy children jumping all over me. <laughs> <laughs> He's watching Monsters vs. Aliens. It's cracking up. He's a goofy boy. So, it's not completely symmetrical, but... Yeah. First try, guys. Try not to get... Too upset with me. I think that's pretty good. Actually, it looks pretty nice considering this is my first try. A lot of people are doing like the spider web thing, like triangular thing on their forehead. I don't really want to do that. I really have no interest in doing that. Um, but they are doing this cool thing with their mouth where they do like a little spiral. I really wanted to blacken it out, but I am not very good at that. I've tried blacking my cheeks out with like shadow and stuff, and I can never get it to look right. I always just look some like somebody punched me in the cheek as opposed to like, you know, when it looks like your face is sunken in. Because I tried to do Bellatrix that way because she's... Got a, you know, very uh, severe cheek line, and I obviously don't. I have big cheeks, and so I was trying to, like, show that I could do that, but it didn't work. I'm going to go ahead and do my nose. Deciding, some people do just, like, two little lines, and then some people just kind of triangular black it out. I think I'm just going to do the two little lines and see how that goes. You can see that. Is that like cool? It's a little off, like one's kind of curved, but not everyone's nose looks the same, right? <laughs> I'm debating if I want to do the little loops. I think I might just do dots because I think that'd be easier since considering this is like my first go at it. And, um, I don't know, I don't want to add way too much makeup, you know? And actually, um, my black liner kind of gives it a cool little effect. I'm actually really proud of this. Um, this is turning out a lot better than I was expecting. Do they go all the way around, even on their, like, noses? I'm going to try and find a dot one. Where's a dot one? I'm literally on Pinterest just scrolling down. I need to blow my nose. No, I can't blow my nose. I'm only go all the way around with the petals. That's a pretty one. Pin it. Ooh, that's a pretty one. All right, well, I'll just go all the way around. One of them kind of looks like a little line. It slid down my nose a little bit. But I think that's actually really freaking cool. I'm pretty proud of that. So... <laughs> Yay, and I got to try and do it with my right hand, which is a pain in the ass. I am not ambidextrous. I know what my grandpa was, though. Fun fact. Yeah, my grandpa, my dad's, or my mom's dad. Was my mom's dad or my dad's dad? One of my grandfathers was ambidextrous, which is really cool. Because he used to... Like, draw pictures with both his hands at the same time. 
I think there was an artist that did that. I'm not really sure who. I want to say Salvador Dali, but I'm probably wrong. Dang it. Whoa, buddy, you cannot be hanging on me right now. Now, one of them, like, right in the nose area, it always turns into, like, a little line, but... What did you do? Look! Yeah! <laughs> I just noticed my face! <laughs> what? What? Ooh, how am I going to drink my coffee? You know what? I'm going to take a big swig of my coffee real quick before I add the lip stuff. Oh, I got a hair in my eye. It's really bugging me. I got tweezers over here. I'm so smart. I keep like a little nail kit next to my computer at all times because I'm always messy with my nails. And you never know when you need stuff. And then I think I'm going to add, um, ooh, should I do like a winged eye with this? No, I think that would take away from the effect, especially since I'm going to black out my eyes for the real thing. Um, but... I think I will put mascara on just because I think that would be a nice contrast. Okay, so I'm going to drink my coffee and then I'm going to finish up and, and then I'll show you the end result here in a little bit. Okay, so I finished up with my mouth and I decided to do these flowers. Um, they're actually pretty easy to do. Um, I didn't show you guys because I kind of had to look in the mirror, but basically I just did a little circle and then I just do like wavies. Um, almost like squiggly lines that connect to the circle and then around it. And then the leaves just, I mean, if you need to, just kind of draw it on paper a few times. Just kind of practice what you want and then go for it. I hadn't put mascara on yet, but I decided I wanted to add this bronzer that I have. It's the Bon Bon's Eyeshadow Powder. I've had this for quite a long time, but look at that pretty like coppery shimmer. It's really, really pretty. So I was thinking I would add this to some of the stuff. Just a smidge. I don't want to overdo it. Um, if you got any excess, tap it off into the lid. That's what I always do. Or if like you don't want to use your counter, sometimes a piece of paper you do that. I don't really do that much because I usually just do it in the lid. But. I wouldn't, I wouldn't smear it. I would just dab it on. Yeah. Don't overdo it. Can you not hang on me while I do this? Is that possible? Hey, get back. Um, just add a little bronzer here and there. And then the part that you tapped off into the tr little lid, you can use that for the other side. I don't know if I want to go all the way around. I think I might do... It's almost kind of steampunk. Can you tell the difference? And then maybe I'll use a little bit of the bronzer in my mouth. It's not really showing you. Looks better with the blue anyway. Yeah, it's a lot. I'm going to add a little bit to the flowers. I'm just going to do three little dots and then kind of spread that around because I don't want to add too much of it and then get rid of it'll take away all the blue that I had done previously. It's a good thing about makeup, you you can constantly reinvent yourself, which I love doing. 
I'm always trying to do new things. I usually like, you know, like with the winged eye, like it took me forever to figure it out. And even then, I'm still constantly evolving with it. Like, I used to just do lines for the wing, and now I do, like, big, chunky, like, curved triangles. At least that's what I call them. And, you know, uh, it's just kind of fun to experiment. Yuck. Yuck. What, bud? Yuck. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. It's alright. I made a mess. I can fix it. Um. But, yeah, can you, I don't know if you guys can tell... But I think it looks pretty good. Pretty proud of myself. It just, it looks a lot better than I was expecting it would. Um, now, I think I'm going to add some severe kind of bronze to my cheek area. To really add that um, kind of skeletal, you know hollowed out, gaunt kind of face. Um, this I do have to kind of spread around so that it blends. That doesn't really take away. Can you see a difference? I don't know if you can. A little bit of difference. Slightly darker. I think it looks, looks good. So... This is fun. Uh, I'm learning some new things, and you guys can kind of try it out with me if you want. This is, like, literally my first time ever doing this. Um, like, I've blackened my eyes out before, but I wore a mask over it. It was just to, like, have dark eyes under a mask. Like, that's pretty much the extent. Um, I've done, like, zombie face paint, you know, a lot. I've done that on a bunch of different people, too, which is... Always fun. I, I don't really consider myself like a makeup guru or like a makeup artist. Honestly, I don't think I'm that talented. But um, like for like zombie shows and like I've always wanted to do like a haunted house. But you have to work on Halloween and I can't not take my kids trick or treating. It's just, it's tradition. I can't not do that. So... I'm always, every year, this year, my sister's coming with us, and we're going to make bank. We're going to, like, last year, we went to, like, a really fancy neighborhood and just killed it. It was awesome. We were there for hours. And since Halloween falls on a Friday, it's just perfect. Um, I think we're doing something the next day, but I don't think it's till later in the evening or afternoon, so it'll be okay. We'll all live. Um, I thought about adding just a little bit of bronze on my chin just to kind of add some depth. It's, it's not really that noticeable. Can I say it? Can I say it? <laughs> I'm not very good with the lighting here. Um, and then I'm going to add a smidge in this top little like triangle-ish area. Okay, I think this looks good. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do this colors. I might still do the bronze, but with the black. And I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with my hair today because I don't want it rubbing anything off. But. The problem with using the paint, like the eyeshadow white cream, base cream, and um, white, or not white, black eyeliner, is it's like a smudgy material. So this is probably going to wipe off pretty easily, and that's going to suck, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to get some like real good black and white like face paint. And then I can try it, so when it dries, it stays on a little better. But I think it'd be cool. So, um, this is my sugar skull face. Is that, is that cool? <laughs> Alright, well, this is fun. I hope you guys liked it. Sorry this video is really long, but I'm still learning on how to do these sort of things. 
Um, I'm probably going to go put some mascara on, and then I'll take a picture, and then I'll post that on Facebook, and all that fun stuff, so. Hey, everyone. Um, last minute little tidbit. I added some color. I added some green and red and a couple extra swirls on the mouth part, and I think it's pretty much perfect now. I want to darken my lip a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think that, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I think still for the party, I want to blacken out my eyes completely, but I might use color with it. Um, either way, I'm going to make my face just the centerpiece. I mean, the face is going to be the money, <laughs> the money maker. That sounds weird. But, like, I'm literally going to be wearing all black. I'm just going to try and cover up my body and my skin as much as possible so that my face just looks like a floating head at night. Because so I want to scare people. I think that'd be really fun. And did you poop? Oh my gosh, I that's horrible. Yeah, I literally did this like two seconds ago. Um, I just wanted to try with different colors because the blue I felt wasn't popping enough. It wasn't bright enough. So I think this looks a lot better. Um, yeah, I've seen ones with just black and white, but I don't know, I mean, the green and the blue and the red look pretty cool together, so I might not be doing that, but part of me still wants to black out the eyes. Something about the black eyes just sounds really cool. Alright, well, I hope this is fun. Um, I mean, honestly, with anything, like, you know, with any kind of art or, you know, makeup or whatever that you do, just play around with it. That's why I like to do it a couple days before. Um, I always try and do one, at least one test run. And honestly, this turned out a lot better than I was expecting. So I think this is the only test one I really need to do. Although, I plan on getting some new makeup for the actual party. So that, because um, I want really bright white. And the stuff I use is just kind of greasy and just doesn't look as cool as I was hoping. So, um, I'm going to try and get some snazaroo white paint that's that was suggested to me by my friend Liz and uh, she's really awesome with makeup so I trust her and and then she said black liquid liner works best for a black whitening out and stuff so I was gonna try and get a different kind like a big tube of it almost and then um, whiten out my or blacken out my eyes and stuff like that and then um, I figure I'll just use my black liner again and then go over it with liquid liner. Um, so it stays on really good. But I like using this stuff better to just draw on. Uh, mainly because if I mess up, it's easier to wipe off. And it's a nice little, like, template. So, do I look like a skeleton? <laughs> Alrighty. I think this looks really cool. I'm actually really happy about it. It's weird when I smile. It's like I have teeth that I don't have teeth. I don't know what's going on. All right, well, hope you like this. Um, I had a really fun time doing it. So, I mean, give it a shot. It's just, even if you're not going to a costume party, it's just fun to do. So, I'm going to pick Nora up at the bus stop like this. So, that'll be fun. All right. Bye. I can't find the button.